A 32-year-old artist named Cyrus Walker isn't your usual Western artist. He finds inspiration in the classic comic books of the 1940s and 50s. Born and raised in Vermont, he was surrounded by dairy cows and green mountains. He studied graphic design and marketing at Montana State University. At one point, he even considered becoming a ski bum. Six years ago, Walker moved to Bozeman, Montana, seeking a more traditional college experience. The urban environment was exactly what he wanted. He took breaks from college to work and pay his tuition. One of his jobs was in an antique store, which sparked his interest in collecting old books with captivating illustrations. Walker met his wife, Whitney, in Bozeman. After graduating, he worked as a graphic designer before transitioning to creating rodeo posters. He was encouraged by Western artist Bob Coronado to pursue this path. Walker's first poster was for the world-famous Miles City Bucking Horse Sale, which he describes as his first touch of fine art and a bridge between fine art and design. He noticed how tourists from the East would buy new boots and cowboy hats to wear to a rodeo. Despite the Hollywood portrayal of the Western genre, Walker realized that the culture was different. His brother-in-law's ranch outside of Miles City showed him that Western life was nothing like what's depicted in movies. This idea of the West led Walker to start painting mythical images, capturing moments right before or after something happened. In 2020, Walker and his wife moved to Helena during the pandemic. He converted their basement into a studio space, allowing him to work without worrying about making a mess. Walker follows a weekly schedule, working on sketches and paintings throughout the week. He usually finishes one 56 by 35 inch painting a week, sometimes more if he's feeling ambitious. When he's not painting, he's out hiking, camping, and photographing landscapes for inspiration. He also collects old books and comic books to further immerse himself in the Western genre. Walker finds Western art and history fascinating because it's location-based and vision-based, unlike other art periods. He's also intrigued by the public works art projects of the Works Progress Administration, which hired artists to create inspiring and fictional scenes during the Great Depression. His deep dive into Western mythology has led him to focus solely on painting, drawing attention to the unusual phenomenon that occurs when people think of Western things.